When X Defiant had its beta, I made a video reviewing that said beta. However, with Multiverses, I didn't. I made a So What Happened video discussing the game's history before its shutdown. Therefore, I was hesitant to make a new video now that the full version of Multiverses is out. I never gave a proper original review of it, so I kinda just wanted to leave it as is. But Multiverses fully dropped, and it is so frustratingly bad that I'm going to make a review about it. I have never been more appalled by a video game that was once really good just for it to fully release and drop the ball so hard it falls through three floors below it. So today we're discussing Multiverse's full release. Before we start, remember to subscribe. I talk about video games on this channel in an analytical style, so if you like those kind of videos, feel free to join our community. I also live stream from time to time right here on this YouTube channel, so if you want to come hang out, crack some jokes, or discuss stuff, come join us sometime. If you can't make it to those streams live, feel free to subscribe to my second channel, Rated M Live. I upload all the best moments from my live streams onto there. But with all of that out of the way, let's talk multiverses. So for those unaware of multiverses' existence, the SparkNotes version is that it's a platform fighter that incorporates multiple Warner Brothers properties. Looney Tunes, DC, even Game of Thrones. If you want a full history of the game check out my so what happened video about the game it gives a full breakdown of what went down with this game about two years ago but before i tear into this game i want to discuss some good things about it i want to say that the game is a lot of fun when it works the game is a really good time to mess around with regardless of if you play online with friends or even the new single player content to me the game doesn't have that much depth which i'm actually okay with I like the idea of it being a bit of a sillier party game and not really having any crazy movement mechanics. You can just learn the moves of your character in training mode and be relatively competent online. The dev team brought multiple rewards for those who previously played the beta a while back including some cosmetics and the new battle pass for entirely free which is really cool. I was not expecting this if I'm being honest. The single player rifts content is also a lot of fun. It doesn't lock the game into a multiplayer only experience which I really appreciate. I'm excited to see where the devs take it in the future. But that is where my praise for this game ends. There are so many things wrong with the game, it makes me wonder. What the actual fuck was Player First Games doing for the past year or so? Let's discuss the graphics. The original game did give everything like a sleek, almost plastic action figure look, which I don't mind. It made the game very cartoony, which is very obviously what they're going for, but somehow they made the characters look worse in the full release. They don't look plastic, but instead they look untextured. It's literally like they modeled all the characters and just applied a paint bucket to every surface of the models. The original CSS had these really well done illustrations for each character which have been replaced with these god awful screenshots of the 3D models with very poor lighting on them which looks absolutely terrible. Going into the actual game, the performance is fucking terrible. I'm playing on an Xbox Series X and any freezing that you see in this video is not from my capture card, this is right from the game. Playing online is terrible with the netcode being so inconsistent, your game will be fine for a few minutes and you'll get hit with a ping spike so bad it has the chance to disconnect you entirely. And this is prevalent in the single player rift content too. Too. While it's not ping spikes, there's frame spikes that will entirely freeze the game for a few seconds on a $600 console. This game is 10% the size of Call of Duty and it somehow runs worse. Trying to play with friends is also torture. Here's me and Lane trying to join each other on stream. You sent me a party invite. I'm already in your party. What the fuck? Did you leave the party and join? Because I had to restart my game. Oh. I'm going to keep it a buck, dude. I think I'm stuck. <laughs> God damn it. But I'm ready for an invite, buddy. I freaking invited you. I didn't fucking get it, buddy. <laughs> what about that one? Nope. Try and invite me. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna have to invite you, I guess. Invite to game. Did you get that? <laughs> what if I told you I did it? Okay, I'll, re I'll restart my game again, I guess. Yeah, I'll restart my game real quick. Hopefully it actually fucking works. <laughs> <laughs> I also tried to play private matches with a few friends, and every other lobby we hosted would end up disconnecting, regardless of who's host. One of my biggest annoyances is training mode. In the beta, you were able to try out any character regardless of you owning them or not. In the full release, I went to try out Joker before I decided to buy him and it wouldn't let me select him. In fact, it wouldn't let me select any character I didn't own. 
But hey, at least there's microtransactions, right, Warner Brothers? At least there's $25 bundles in the shop ready for me to purchase. I can barely play a stable game. I can barely invite my friends. I can't try out new characters that I don't own, but at least I can buy Samurai Batman. This game has ruined all faith I had in player first games. It blows my mind that the beta was somehow a more complete package than this full version. I hope they can fix a lot of the issues that this game has, but at the same time, these issues weren't prevalent in the beta. The quote unquote unfinished version of the game is leaps and bounds a more enjoyable product than the garbage that they've shelled out today. This game is an embarrassment, and it sucks because the core game is actually a lot of fun. It just sucks that to get to that fun, you've got to deal with unstable frame rates, poor connections, and an absence of features that were previously available. And hey, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also feel free to leave a comment as I try to reply to as many as I can. If you want to check out more videos, you can do so here, as well as check out Rated M Live, which is where I upload the best moments from all of my live streams. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.